All right, so look, a comment I got on my recent video, it was asking, you know, when purchasing a used vending machine, how do you test it out, what to look for, this and that. So in this video, what we're gonna talk about, when you buy a new machine, what you should be looking for, all right? But you two to got down there, man, it's probably only pap. Papi! We are back with another video, and today, I'm about to tell y'all what y'all should be looking for when y'all uh, buying a, a used vending machine, okay? Because some people just be buying machines, they don't test them out, they don't see if everything working. And you don't want to do that, bro. Right? You want to make sure that everything is everything when it comes to spending your money, bro. Because this is an investment to make, make you some money. And if you got a broke down machine, you're not making no money, you lose losing money. You lost money, you know what I'm saying? And you're gonna continue to lose more money till y'all get that mud fixed, all right? So this is what you should look for when purchasing a used vending machine. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. In the comment section, let me know how your Thanksgiving was, all right? All right, so first thing first, what you never want to do when it comes to buying a used vending machine is send the money first. That's 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 number one, okay? Uh, a, a lot of times people be lying and they try and get the machine sold, so they'll ask you for a deposit to hold it. Hell no. If it's been sitting, if it's for me, it's for me. If it's not, then it is what it is. But I'm not sending you no money without uh, me putting eyes and hands on it, all right? So that's number one. Number two, what you wanna do is once you're at the uh, machine, uh, push it. See if it's sturdy. See if it's uh, off balance, you know what I'm saying? See why it's not standing on all four legs, I should say. You know what I'm saying? And see if that can be fixed. So. Me, I'ma push it, I'ma shake it, I ain't gonna shake it. But I'm just gonna make sure it's, it's, it's a sturdy machine because what you don't wanna run the risk in is a machine potentially falling on somebody because it's not sturdy, all right? So, you know what I'm saying? Just do a little light little push, make sure everything's everything, and then you should be straight. You wanna test out all the buttons, you know what I'm saying? You wanna hit every button. Usually, machines make a little beep noise when you press the button. So you wanna you wanna press all of them a few times just to make sure everything is working when it comes to the button. You wanna uh, also wanna hit the button that like dispenses time. We you want your money back. A little it's usually a gray button or, or gray or black. So you wanna hit that change button. I don't even know what that button's called, but hit the change button. Make sure that works. Uh, you wanna put you wanna put dollars and coins in to make sure it's taking money. So put a dollar in. Uh, put some coins in. If the coins go straight to like the, the change catcher, you got a problem. If if it's not taking dollars, you got a problem. So if either the coin mech is messed up or the uh, bill of stuff is, is faulty. So also uh, plug that thing up and turn it on. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you're going to run into people that that's selling their machines out their garage. So. Uh, when you go through people's house, you know what I'm saying? Tell them to plug it up and turn it on. You know what I'm saying? If they don't want to do that, that's a red flag, big dog. Test out all the motors, all the coils, uh, the drop sensors. Most machines nowadays, they have drop sensors. And what that means is, you know how back in the day, when your chips get stuck, you either gotta shake the machine and make the chip fall. Now, nowadays, since the machines got drop sensors, if that sensor don't catch that the snack has fell, it's gonna push the, the coils are gonna spin until that, that snack fall and it hits the drop sensor. So make sure all those are working. Make sure there ain't no type of water leak, man. Uh, check out that compressor. Make sure the machine is getting cold if it's a, a drink machine or a combo machine. Make sure the locks work properly. Make sure the door closed properly. If the machines come with any lights, make sure those are working. And if they're not, see if uh, is it a new bulb or ask why it ain't working? Now, once you've done all your, your, your physical tests, you want to ask these five questions before purchasing that used vending machine. And one of them is, does it come with the warranty? Now, in most cases, when you're buying from like a person, it usually doesn't, but it never hurts to ask, you know what I'm saying? But if you're buying it from like a, like a, a vending machine warehouse, then uh, I've seen that most people most places offer like 30 days so let's just say uh you buy a machine from a vending machine warehouse and something breaks on it you know they'll either come out and replace it or give you a whole other machine so 
ask that question. Does the machine come with some type of warranty? Then you want to ask, are there any known problems with the machine? You know what I'm saying? And if it is, is it a simple fix? You know what I'm saying? Now this question right here is a very important question. And that's, is it credit card capable? Nowadays, machines are credit card capable and you, you really need it in 2022 because nobody's carrying cash. And if you carry cash, let me know down in the comments that you if you carry cash. But nah, you need that. You need to, you need to see if that machine is credit card capable. If it's not, depending on how old it is, you can upgrade the motherboard and uh, make it credit card capable. Now, I haven't seen it done personally because I just haven't seen it, you know what I'm saying? But it's 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 kind of like switching out an engine in cars, you know what I'm saying? Same thing, taking the old out, upgrading, putting the new stuff in, and now you have a old machine that's credit card capable. As has there been any prior repairs being made? You know, you know, get the car facts on the vending machine, you know what I'm saying? And last but not least, ask them why they're selling their machines. You know, is it because you get up the business? Is it because uh, the location ain't, ain't doing too well? Ain't no telling what it could be. Just make sure you ask that question. You know what I'm saying? And this, what well, I'm about to say now, this is really for people that, that secure the location. They look for a machine. Get the measurements of the machines. Get your tape measure. Measure how tall that joint is and measure how wide, okay? And then make sure you get the, the measurements at the uh, location. Measure that dope. How tall and how wide. Because we ran into a problem. We, was gonna, we, we thought we was going to put this one machine in this uh, a location, but the door was too, uh, the door to the location was too small. And what we ended up having to do, we took the door off the bending machine and uh, <laughs> we put the machine in there like that. They had to put the door back on. So to to not go through that pain and them troubles, measure the machine, bro. Please, if you, if you don't get anything else out of this video, make sure you get the measurements of the machine, all right? Because you don't want to get no big machine for no small space, you know what I mean? So that's a wrap for this video. I hope y'all learned something. Y'all did drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know what y'all thinking, what other questions y'all have, and I'll catch y'all next video, bro.